Should you be grateful for being overweight? That is the topic of this video today. It's something that kind of came to me in like some form of meditation the other day. Anyway, my name is Ryan. This is High Carb Regenerate. Welcome to my channel. Um, I wanted to start off with like a little backstory with me. And um, so I grew up in a very traditional household. Hold on, hold on. So anyway, I grew up in a very traditional neighborhood. Um, dads went to work, mothers stayed home. And one of the things that was very common with all of the mothers in the neighborhood, or so it was either you were a young family or retired from World War II. So it, one of these two, right? And every single one of them, so the, the stay at home mothers and the World War II vets, one of the most common things that, that, that went on in my neighborhood, I don't know why, but my buddy and I used to talk about this sometimes, is the victimhood mentality, right? So you kind of get used to this. You kind of grow up with the idea of, I'm a victim. I didn't, you know, everything happens to me. Poor me. You know, poor me. And so those of us who are overweight kind of go into that like it's like somebody somebody force fed us the food like they did it the government did it they gave me government cheese or whatever it is you know the government made me fat right and this is the mentality and this is kind of what i went into a little bit after friday after hearing that my liver's out of place my stomach's out of place my right kidneys blah 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 all this stuff watch the video here's the tag card whatever and um i started thinking about it it's almost like a grateful thing to be overweight like this because people who are very skinny and who are also have a lot of inflammation, it generally shows up in much worse forms in them than it does with us with disease, cancer, heart attacks, dead at 38. I mean, you know, it's so it's kind of like if you are overweight, be thankful for that because your body took a different path. Your body's just like, all right, there's a lot of inflammation going on, inflammation going on here. Uh, we got to put it somewhere. We could build cancer or we can make them fat. All right, we're going to make them fat. We're going to chose that path. And this is, this is what happens and this is what happened to you and this is why you're overweight. And the reason you should be thankful for it is because it's a lot more obvious. All right, so like you just think think about this. It's so obvious. It's so obvious to you and everybody else that you've got something going on. You're overweight. And you could just play the victim and eat a dozen donuts and then polish that off with a pizza and have a big Slurpee. And, you know, that's breakfast. And then for lunch, you had the same exact thing. You can keep going on and on and on like that. Or you could take, a, a, take a, a, you know, this as an initiative and actually do something about it. And that is what I have done over the years. I've never let it get me down for too long. I've always gone and done something about it. And when I really think about it, you know, at 2016, I talk about it a lot. But even uh, 2011, when I got into it, this is how I found vegan. I would not have found vegan otherwise. Some of the best times of my life were only had because I was overweight. I would never have gone vegan. I would never have looked into some of these other natural forms of doing things. I would never have done this had it not been for me being overweight. Never done this. 2011, when I went, I did Couch to 5K. I actually, for the first time in my life, even with this crazy ass ankle of mine, and yes, it was barefoot, but I finally, for the first time in my life, ran a 5K. I ran a 5K. It was amazing. It wasn't fast, but it did it. And then years later, 2016, if I hadn't gone into the, the chiropractor and he looked at me and said, like, dude, you are fat. Like, you are really overweight. Um, because I had gone off plan again, I got complacent. I think one of the reasons that I started this channel so I would never go complacent again. And But if had he not done that, had he not done that, I would never have bought got, bought, got some bikes again. I would never have gotten back into cycling again. I would never have done this. Never have done it. I would just, because if I was skinny, I would not do anything. I would sit around, I would go to work, I would come home, play video games, I would go to bed, I would just cycle all over. And... Some of the best thing, my best memories of Pennsylvania were on my bike. 
I mean, I, you know, I, I can remember days of, you know, getting lost in the in the forest and in these hills and these crazy ass hills. I mean, once in a while, yeah, I mean, you know, cra it, they were a bit much. I mean, just a vertical wall of asphalt. Some of the roads that I uh, rode on with my bike, they were so steep that they couldn't even be paved. Uh, you know, so that there was a, there was a pain train going on there. But if I had not been overweight, I would never have gone on these journeys that I went on. I remember my favorite ride. <laughs> you know, I think most dudes would, uh, this would be their favorite ride. It was a really hot day, hot. I mean, hot day. I'm like it's so hot that actually uh, some of the places I was riding was like that tar and shale or whatever stuff, and it was starting to melt. And I was on my way back to the car, and I was coming down this hill. It was like a, a medium hill, and I <laughs> ride past this girl who had nothing on top, Com nothing. I mean, that was a beautiful ride, right? I I, I forget. I said something to her. It was wonderful, but there was other rides. Well, like I, I would go into the to the forest, and there was these kids playing on the street. Because, and I never thought about this because I've always lived in the cities. I had never thought about this. Like they've got nowhere else to go. Like yeah, sure they can play in the in the trees and everything. Like, but they were learning how to ride bike on this hill. I mean, how sweet is that well, for them? You know, it's not my thing, but. I did at least get to see this. I got to see this way of life. And I would never have seen this had it not been for being overweight because I never would, would have started cycling like this. I would, again, I would, just, I, if I was not at work, I would be playing video games, guarantee it. I made enough at work. I really didn't have to do anything. There, there's no side hustle needed. I, I really didn't care. And so I know that's what I would have done. And, but luckily, I put that energy into cycling. And what I'm saying is, like, if you are overweight, and, and chances are, if you still are watching to this point in the video with all my crazy uh, camera issues and, and all that kind of stuff, if you're still watching this, chances are you've got weight to lose or you just like watching me, you know, fluff my hands around or whatever. But the reason we do this is to get uh, to get past it. But the only reason you're doing it is because you're at where you are in your journey. And I, I know that I have roller coastered myself on this journey, but at least I know what works now. Like I know that just certain things work, certain things just don't work. And you know, when the coaching, I'm going to be like the strongest coach out there. A lot of these other coaches, they've been skinny all their life. They've been these little feeble human beings. Who wants a little feeble human being telling a fat person how to lose weight? I know they get real defensive about that, but sorry. If you've never been in a 400 pound body, you don't know what it's like. I, I don't want to hear it from you. I really don't. And most people who have been in a 400, 500, 600 pound body, they're not looking to hear from some 56 kilogram dude in a, you know in a foreign country or, or whatever about how to lose weight sorry it just isn't there it, you know there's just a different mindset to the person who can get to 400 some pounds is a different mindset than the person who's never gotten there now it's not a very good mindset probably but you're not going to be in that same mindset and somebody who has gotten themselves past that uh, point in, into a healthy uh, place is is much more of a relatable coach. You know, there's there are some people out there that I watch and some people watch my videos and the, I've, some of them comment on my uh, live streams and stuff that have lost weight uh, steadily in a way that I just don't want to teach. Like I'm not trying to teach assault. Uh, oil free, of, of course, but salt and sugar free. Uh, forget it. Get the fuck out of here. I'm not trying to teach that stuff. Who wants to live like that? I don't want to live like that at all. So I'm not going to do that. I, I know I've had some comments in here, like if you would have just done this, blah, blah, blah. I don't care. I'm not doing it that way. Sorry. This is my fat journey. <laughs> you do yours, right? And so this is what I'm going, this is what I'm coaching. This is where I'm at uh and anyways so just be thankful that you were where you were because if you weren't you you might be with that skinny person that drops dead at 38 and everybody's like well he he was so skinny he was so skinny and th these days that means healthy right but it's not it just means that your body's storing its inflammation if you're eating cheeseburgers all day fries all day having a cigarette washing it down with a milkshake uh drinking a six-pack at night uh, and just sitting around like 
it's compounding, right? And you might not, not might not see it, but it's there. And so those of us who have the ability to absorb this amount of calories, like all the fat and everything, just retain that, should be thankful. You got to be thankful before you can move on. Anyway, I know I've made these kind of videos before, but here it is. Uh, likes, questions, all that kind of stuff. Good stuff down below. That's it. I don't know what else to say about it. I'm just, I'm not going to be pl playing on that victim train. Like, you know, I, I mean, I'm not, I, no heart, hate against my, uh, you know, growing up or anything. It just is what it is. And so just get out of the victim mindset and you'll get to where you want to go. Just watch my journey. Don't do some of the stuff I've done and you will get there. Uh, last thing before I go, I just wanted you to check some of my other videos out. I'm going to link them down below. They're part of my journey. Um, one of them's what I eat in a day. Everybody wants to know that. I haven't really uh, updated those in a while because I just eat uh, fairly similarly. And another one's whatever I pick. Anyway, check those out down below, and I'll talk to you in the next video.